Hey guys, it's Coach Sierra, and today we're going to be doing our first virtual class for our Bright Stars, Shooting Stars, and Rolling Hills age group. This is a wide range, but you can moderate your workout to however you need to. We're going to start with a warm-up just like we typically do. This warm-up is a circuit style, so we're going to do 15 second intervals, and I'm going to do it with you. So when I change exercises, just make sure you follow along and change too. All right. We have four exercises and we're going to go two times through and then I'll meet you for conditioning. The first one is going to be candlestick stand up. So go. and then soldier kicks. On these, you wanna make sure that your knees are straight and your toes are pointed. The next one is ski jumps. That's where the line comes in. You jump on one side, then the other. And then the last one is high knees. You really want to push your feet through the floor so your toes are the last thing to come off. And one more time through. And ski jumps. And that concludes our warm up. I'll get back to you for our conditioning. Okay guys, so after you did your warm up, hopefully you got a drink and cool down for a second. Now we're gonna do a little bit of conditioning before we go to our drills and skills. We're gonna do some legs and some arms, but we're gonna start with legs. Again, I may do a lower number just for the video, but I'll tell you how many you should do, and if I get a little ahead, you can pause it. All right, so we're doing alternating lunges like this and I want 10 on each leg so make sure you count one one what that means is one on your left then one on your right then two on your left then two on your right so make sure that you get 10 on each leg not 10 in total after those you're gonna do 20 calf raises calf raises are um, nice for our dance skills and you wanna make sure you go all the way up onto your toes. We also call that position releve. And when you're in releve, you want your toes, your ankles, and your thighs to be squeezing together. So you don't want your ankles to turn sideways like this. So you should do 20 of these. Also make sure on the calf raises that your knees are not bending. You wanna push all the way through your ankles and calves. And your last leg conditioning thing is frog jumps. So you reach and sit down like a frog and then stand up with your arms. Make sure you make an extended shape with your arms right here, open shoulders, reaching back, and you have 10 of those. Now we're gonna do some arm conditioning and we're gonna start with the classic push-up. I'm only gonna have you do 10, but I really want you to make sure that you have a nice straight body for our future cast so you want your head to your feet to be in a line, and if you can only go down a little, that's fine. But you wanna to try to go down as far as you can and touch your chin, not your belly. So you have 10 of those. And then, after you finish those 10, we're gonna to go to dips. You can use anything 
that is about knee height or higher. I'm using a cube that I have for storage, but you can use a chair or a couch or an ottoman, anything like that. So I'll show you from two different angles, but you just put your hands on it, scoot your feet out a little bit, and then try to touch your back to the box. You don't want to put your hips down like this. You want to touch your back. I'll show you from the side. So not like this. Oops. Like that. And you have 10 of those also. After that, you have plank taps. Again, we're working on a nice tight position for our future cast. So you get in a push-up position and you're gonna touch your shoulders. So your right hand touches your left shoulder and your left hand touches your right shoulder. Just like the lunges, you wanna count one, one. So left hand one, right hand one. Left hand two, right hand two. And you do that all the way to 20. Okay guys, we're gonna stretch now. This first one, you're also going to need a bed. Um, so you're going to hang off of your bed and we're working our heel drive for our handstand flat backs and front hand springs. So you hang off the bed with your upper body and then you're going to try and drive your backside towards handstand. So you want to use not a knee bend, not head coming out. You want to use your hammies, your booty, and your back to make yourself go to a handstand.
and try 10 of those. They're kind of tricky. Okay guys, so our next bulk drill, you're gonna need your storage cube or whatever you're jumping off again, a yoga mat, and your bed. This is to mimic from the hurdle to the springboard to the table. So we have, this is gonna be the hurdle, that's the springboard, and that's the jump of the table. So you're gonna start on one foot, like I said, to mimic the hurdle, and then you're gonna jump down to two feet. You want chest back, knees bent, and arms pushing down. And then you're gonna jump up to the bed with your arms circling all the way, rest of the way back up. Okay? So one hurdle foot, jump down and back up. Your arms should be helping you. You should be able to feel the down helping and the up helping you rise higher. Okay, so I'll show you one more. Arms up for the hurdle, down, up. And I want you to try 10 of those. These are very important. So this is sort of half and half. It's halfway a vault drill and halfway conditioning and 100% fun. I really love jumping drills and vault's all about power. So we do a lot of running and jumping drills. This is my favorite jumping drill. Um, you pick something that you can jump onto or over. I'm gonna jump over mine because it might be a little flimsy. Um, you just wanna make sure that you have a cushioned landing. So I have my folded up yoga mat right here. So this is just working the power in our legs and you're gonna bend and try to jump over it. Like that. So I definitely recommend starting off with something really low that you feel comfortable with or very soft, like a pillow, a really fluffy pillow. And then you can add another pillow or if you have an ottoman, that would be nice and cushy too. So you bend down and try to just use your, the momentum in your legs. You don't wanna move your chest or your arms too much. Just your legs, and then land. Try 10 or 20 of those, they're very fun. Okay guys, we just got done discussing that power is the most important part to vaulting. So we worked it in our jumps, now we're gonna work it in our run. When you run, you wanna make sure that it's not just your feet moving you forward. And what I mean by that is if your chest is upright, your body is gonna go wherever you tell it to go, and if you're leaning forward, then it's gonna move forward and your feet have to keep up by pushing the floor behind you. So this drill is working our chest leaning forward while we run. So you're gonna put your hands on the floor, or on the wall, and then you're gonna run. Just like this. Just like that. And you can put your hands lower, you just don't wanna be close to the wall because then your chest isn't leaning forward. You wanna be leaning forward, just like this. I want you to try 10 of those for 10 seconds. Okay guys, our next drill is to work tight bodies. Bo uh, after power, tight body is the most important part to vault. So what we're gonna do is very fun, but it also can be a little bit scary. You're gonna start on your box and you're gonna stay tight. I want your arms down and you're gonna fall. That's it, fall onto your bed, but the keys are you can't put your hands down and you can't pike through your hips. So you can't do this because your hands are down and you can't do that because your booty touched first. You want it to be just like a flat back where everything touches at the same time. I'll show you one more. So hands down, stay tight, stay tight, stay tight. Just like that. Try 10 of those. Hey guys, we're gonna move on to our bar drills now. The first one is gonna be a handstand shoulder shrug drill. So you're gonna kick up into your handstand against the wall. You can do belly or back against the wall, but I'm gonna do belly. So you walk your feet up and walk your hands in, and then point your toes in tight body shape. Relax your shoulders and push up. Relax your shoulders and push up. I want you to do 30 of those. Okay guys, we're gonna stick with the shoulder shrugs for the next drill, but it's gonna be in a plank hold so we can learn to push through your shoulders and your casts. So you're gonna put your hands on your block and your feet on your bed and push tall. You wanna show that turtle shell. You want from your shoulders to your toes to be in a straight line and then drop and back up, drop and back up. When you're pushing up, hold it for three seconds. So one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. And relax. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. I want you to do 20 of those. 
Okay guys, this next one is working our kips and it's a pretty advanced skill, but you can never get started too early. So you're gonna put your feet on your block, lay out in a stretched out position that's really tight. You wanna have your hollow and then scoop up and pick up your belly. Try really hard not to put your hands further back than your booty. You want them to be forward or right at your booty and try to hold at the top. So lean back, cover your ears in hollow and hold. Try 10 of those. So we need to keep our biceps strong for our pullovers. So the next one, you wanna get something that's a little bit heavy for you, but very easy to hold. And you wanna hang off of your bed with your arms at a 90 degree angle. Hold it with a underhand and then lift and back down. Lift and back down. Lift and back down. And I want you to do 20 of those. Ours is all about shapes and angles. So we're gonna be working on this shaping drill. First, you wanna have something that you can grab onto. My door works fine, but you can hold onto a furniture leg or anything else that's sturdy. You wanna stretch out as long as you can, tight legs, pointed toes, pull your ribs down, don't let your belly come up, ribs down, and then try to lift up from your hips. You don't wanna just lift your legs, you wanna lift your whole lower body. Just like that. And I want you to do 10 of those. Okay, if that last drill was a little hard, which it is, I want you to try these. They're a little bit easier, but it's still working on your core. So you wanna lift up through your ribs and keep them crunched, and then just lift your legs. You don't have to lift through your hips like this. Just lift your legs. I want you to do 10 of those. We call those hollow pulses. And then I want you to do 10 floor leg lifts. So just like this. You wanna keep your legs nice and straight and your toes pointed. And again, you don't want your back to come up off the floor. You wanna keep your abs engaged the whole time. Try 10 of each. Now we're gonna move on to bean. And our first drill is gonna be pillows. You kinda of wanna make a pathway with pillows. I have four right here. And you're gonna do passe walks. So on the floor, these look like this. You go releve and then passe. And then step releve and then passe. And you wanna hold each position. So not just on one foot. So you hold this, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and passe. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, very tricky. And you can try this on the floor. Um, just the pillows add a little bit of difficulty because they're a little wobbly. I would try five passes of those going down and back. Okay, so this next drill is to work our nice tight legs and feet on bean. And the beginner version of this is to have a pillow under your knees where they're a little bit bent and you wanna have a nice presented open chest, and then you straighten your legs and see if you can make them hop a little bit. You wanna see them pop and stay tight. You don't wanna see them kick and then relax again. Pop and stay tight. And then if those are easy for you, I want you to try them without the pillow. So here is nice pointed toes, but here is nice pointed legs. Bend and tight and tight and I want you in this tight position to hold it for three Mississippis and try 20 of those. Okay so our next bean drill is going to be working towards handstands and forward rolls. Um, you want to either have a tape line down on the floor again or a chalk line outside or my rug has a line going down the edge of it so that's what I'm going to use for this. Um, so you want to start one foot in front of the other and hands down the first variation of this one is just bear walks, but you want to make sure that all four, ha your hands and feet are on the line the whole time. So I'll show you that one more time. Hands and feet, you don't want them to go together. Just like that. Then the second variation, you don't have to start at the end. You want to have your hands kind of straddling the line. So half of one hand on the line and half on the other and then you want to tighten your leg and kick it. So bear crawl, straddling hands, and kick. 
your curl and, and kick. And then the next step is gonna be some little scoots. So start with feet and hands straddling the line. Scoot your hands out and then feet. Hands, feet. Hands, feet. And then we have one more. And you wanna be kinda in the center of the line for this one. You want your feet apart to start. Feet or hands straddling the line. Kick up that leg and then a little lever kick. Just like this. Do 10 of each. Okay, so our next drill is gonna be still on our line for beam, but we're gonna be working turns this time. And I want you to start with your foot at coupe and your arms in front, nice and rounded, like you're holding a beach ball. You're gonna go up onto your releve and then turn. And then step out. Try to make sure, I went a little zigzaggy, but try to make sure that you stay straight when you step back onto the line. So arms here, and then they go up. And then you can do this heel snap turn in coupe or passe. In passe, I would say you start with your arms up or here. These are called opposition arms. Do 10 coupe turns and 10 passe turns. Okay, so our next one is working on our salute arms, and that makes any skill look better with a big finish. So we're gonna start with our back against the wall, hands against the wall, and then you're just gonna take a step forward and keep your chin tall, just like that. Try to hold that for 10 seconds. And then the two fingers you want on the wall are your middle finger and your ring finger. So you don't want your whole hand or barely tapping the wall, you want at least two fingers on it. So flat against the wall, take a small step out, hold for 10 seconds. If your shoulders start burning, you're doing it right. Try five of those for 10 seconds. <laughs> okay guys, we had to move it to a different room for floor, but we're gonna start down here and then go back up to the room we were in. Um, this one is just working our forward rolls, but future handstand forward rolls. So we need to make sure we have straight elbows and straight knees on our forward rolls. And that's all you're focusing on. Keep your head between your shoulders like this and roll and stand up. I'll show you one more. So head stays between your shoulders. You can't bend your elbows to put your head down. You don't want the top of your head to touch, just the back, just like this. Okay, so now we're going to be moving on to some round off drills. I have three variations for you. So the first one is a cartwheel from your knee. This makes you focus on driving your back leg over the top and that's what creates your power at the beginning of the round off. Okay, so from here, stand up. Okay, I'll show you that one one more time. So from the knee, really kick this back leg hard. Stand up. All right. So this one, that one, you shouldn't move on from unless your knees are straight and you can go in a straight line. If you can, then you're ready for this one and it's called a cartwheel step in. So you're gonna do a cartwheel and then um, pull down your second foot really, really fast. So like that. So your feet end more close. In a cartwheel, they end in a lunge. In a cartwheel step in, they end together. And you want to snap your chest up as fast as your foot is snapping down. You should look like a really fast seesaw. So one more time. Just like that. And then the third one is the combination of the two. And these are saying you're pretty much ready for round offs if you can do this one very well. So from your knee, step in. Choose one more. Remember, don't leave that chest down. You don't want to land here. It's not how fast you can get your foot down, how fast you can get your chest up. Chest up, just like that. So I want you to try 10 of those, and if you struggle with one of them, do the extra 10 on that one. Okay, so we just worked on our future round offs, and now we're gonna work on our hurdles into our round offs. Um, so you're gonna start from a wall, and you want to take a step, skip, and here. I actually put my foot down and you don't want to put your hurdle foot down. You want to keep it up. 
So step, turtle here, just like this. And you wanna be very nice and round through your back, reaching forward, and you want your ears between your hands, just like this. I'll show you two more. So step with your bad leg, hurdle with your good. And this leg can be a little bit bent because that's just like the cartwheel step and drill. It's coming from a bent knee when you go into your round off. So you have to learn to kick from a bent knee for the round off. So step bad leg, hurdle. All right, try 10 of those. Okay, this one's a fun pointed foot challenge. You're going to have you're gonna take your cup of pencils and get some pencils first and then take your cup and just scatter them on the ground and I'll sit them down and then you want to take a nice scatter them around a little bit you want to take a nice straight leg and pointed toe and then uncurl just your toe not your whole foot just your toe and try to pick up the pencils it's a little tricky just like that and then you can throw it to the side and give yourself a time limit, maybe two or three minutes and see how many you can get. And then don't forget to do the other side. Okay, so now we're gonna be working on a back handspring drill. This is a beginner drill, so if you get a little nervous when I say back handspring, it's okay. Um, so I want you to sit with tight legs and pointed toes. You're gonna have your hands right here on your legs and then you're gonna snap back onto the pillows and open your hips with your arms up. So, just like that. And you wanna make sure when you're on the pillows that your booty's not down. You wanna lift it as high as you can to form that tight arch like a rainbow. Okay, so hands down, head down a little bit. Tight arch. And one more. Hands down, head down. Tight arch. I want you to do 10 of those. Okay, our final floor drill is gonna be a handstand bridge kickover. We're gonna start with a little bit simpler one, but you're doing it off of the bed. So the first one you're gonna start with, I just want you to hang your head off the bed and then slide to where your hands are down. You wanna make sure that your knees are bent so you can press up into your bridge, move your feet in, and kick over with straight legs. Okay, so, if that makes you feel good, then I want you to do 10 of those. And then the advanced one, I want you to do handstand in front of your bed to your bridge and then the same thing back over. So handstand, bridge, back over with tight legs. Try 10 of whichever one you're most comfortable with.